there are many different ways of crocheting the shell stitch. This one is my favorite. You have the shells and then you always have two rows of single crochets in between. So you can really play with different colors. This one we are crocheting back and forth. You could also do it in the round. It's an ideal stitch for things like blankets, especially baby blankets. But you can basically use this for anything you crochet. So let's start making it now. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you could do that now, so you don't miss any future tutorials. First, you need either a chain that is long enough for what you are planning to make, or a few rows of plain crochet that you start the shells on. I have two rows of single crochets, and that's single crochets in the American sense. It's double crochets in British terms. I have 25 stitches here. What you need is multiples of eight, and then after you have done that, then one. So any length at all, but in multiples of eight stitches. And after you have done the eight stitches, then you do one more, because we need that for attaching it. And you can either start going back and forth, like I am going to do, or join it into a ring, so that you will actually crochet around. I will make the first row using the same color that I have for the start. Chain one for turning. And then we will make the shells using trebles. American crochet turn trebles or British double treble. Two yarn overs. So make two yarn overs and count the fourth stitch from the hook. Not counting the first one where there's already a stitch. One, two, three, fourth. And make that treble there. So through two at a time. There's one. And we need seven trebles into that same stitch. So I'm making a second one. Always two yarn overs to make trebles into that same stitch. And continue until you have seven. Here I have seven. And after that chain one. And we are not attaching the middle here yet. Instead we continue making the shells. Two yarn overs and then count the eighth stitch. So you skip seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the eighth one. So I'm making again seven trebles into that stitch. Seven trebles. like this until you have seven here too. I have seven here and then for me it's just one more but you continue like this until you come to the end of your chain or base. So always chain one and trebles into the eighth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven trebles here. And when you come to the end of the row, make a single crochet into the last stitch. Like that. Then take another color and uh, pull the yarn through the stitch. Chain one and turn. And then a single crochet into all of the stitches here starting with the very first one. Single crochet into each stitch. And 
that's the sixth one and the seventh one. And now we came to the spot in between the two shells and we need to attach this to the base or chain, whichever you have there. And count to fourth stitch there. One, two, three, four. And insert the hook there and the yarn stays behind the work and make a single crochet there and uh, as you can see that attaches it now there so it looks like this here now and then we continue the same a single crochet into each stitch each of the seven stitches and then after we get these seven done we attach the shell so again count the fourth not counting where they are one two three four is here and a single crochet so that it goes around that chain stitch we had there and so on keep going like this until the end there and then still one single crochet into the last stitch like that and now we'll have a second row of single crochets chain one for turning and then right through one single crochet into each stitch just right through no decreases no increases also through here where we have attached it so one into every stitch here we are and then next there's a smaller piece done the same way next we need to have half a shell where we start and finish take the first color back or get the third color just pull the yarn through the stitch and then we make half a shell chain four I'm tightening that a bit and turn and then make three trebles into the first stitch three trebles just that's three plus the chain then chain one and we'll again make seven trebles into the stitch that's above where we attached it or to make sure you can count them it's the eighth stitch one two three four five six seven eight there a treble into that there stitch and again seven trebles into that same one this way the shells alternate seven there and after the seven are done again chain one and start making the trebles into the next bit in between two shells so one two three four five six seven eight A treble there and continue like this until you get close to the end of your row always seven except then at the end we'll only have four so seven here and after the seven chain one when you are at the end you will just make four trebles into the last stitch of the row so I'll have four here four and now we need the yarn from the other end 
So you need to cut it and attach it here. I'm attaching that other color here and chaining one and turning. And now we do the same as we did on the other, what I have in green, only that we start with just four single crochets instead of seven. So one single crochet into each of these stitches. And then count one, two, three, fourth, and a single crochet here to attach it. And then you continue exactly the same. One single crochet into each stitch. And after we have the seven, we will again have a single crochet into the previous bit of single crochets there. One, two, three, fourth. There. And this is how you continue. Just like we did here. So you attach it there and at the end you will just have four single crochets. And then you turn and do the same as on this here row. One single crochet into each stitch. And then you start from the beginning. And this is a project you can really play with colors too.